Hey everybody, what is going on? So in this video, let's talk about some mind-blowing news that dropped just a couple of days ago. Kevin Feige, Kevin Feige, the head of Marvel, the mastermind behind the MCU, is coming on board and doing a Star Wars movie. A Star Wars movie. Okay, this is crazy news. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. it unbelievable. Now, offhand, right off the gate, yes, I'm, I'm very excited. Very, very, very excited. Uh, Kevin Feige is a brilliant producer. He's done a, an incredible job crafting the MCU. Um, no matter what you think about the MCU, if you, I mean, whether you love all the films or you don't care for the films or you like some, don't like, whatever, it doesn't really matter. There's no denying that Kevin Feige is a genius. He's absolutely brilliant. And to have him on board with Lucasfilm working on a Star Wars movie is a huge boost to Star Wars, no matter how you slice it. And I'm super, super, super excited. So I kind of want to, in this video, talk about what does it mean? What does all this mean? Now, according to the official, whatever, narrative, you know, they're saying that Kevin loves Star Wars, which I believe him on that. I definitely do think he has a passion for this franchise. And, and he's just going to go in and do one film and done. One and done. He just wants to get his feet wet with some Star Wars and he's going to leave. I don't buy that for a hot second. Not at all. Not at all. Now, a lot of people are saying that he's going to replace Kathleen Kennedy and head Lucasfilm. I don't even believe that, to be honest with you. Look, these executives, guys like Kevin Feige, Bob Iger, Bob Chapek, Kathleen Kennedy, they're, they're driven people, okay? They wouldn't be in their position if they weren't driven, if they weren't heavily ambitious. And, you know, Kevin Feige moving from Marvel to Lucasfilm is a lateral move. You know, he's not really getting a promotion or moving up at all. He's just kind of going from one 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 studio to the to the next one. It's, there's no there's no upward trajectory for him in doing that. I don't think that's the game plan here. I really really don't. I believe in my opinion, I believe that Alan Horn, who who runs all the the film production studios, Disney, Pixar, Lucas, Marvel, I believe Alan Horn is grooming Kevin Feige to take his position. Now hear me out, hear me out. Alan Horn was pulled out of retirement from Bob Iger, I think it was in 2012, okay? Alan Horn is not a young dude, okay? He even joked about that over at D23 Expo. He is not a young guy, and I would, I would guess within the, within the next five years, Horn is looking to retire, okay? They're gonna have to replace him with somebody. Who better than Kevin Feige? Kevin Feige is brilliant. He's shown that he can really craft, you know, this intricate cinematic universe. He he really knows his stuff. So it, I kind of feel like this is a position by Alan Horn to kind of get Feige's feet wet with the other studios. You know, work on a work on a Star Wars film with Lucasfilm. Get your feet wet. Learn the inner workings of Lucasfilm through that process. Maybe after he does a Star Wars movie, he works on something for Pixar or something of that nature. I, I really do believe that that's what's going on here. I think Horn is grooming Kevin to re to be his replacement, and I think he would be, Kevin Feige would be phenomenal, phenomenal successor to Alan Horn. Absolutely phenomenal. So that is where my mind is kind of going right now. Okay, I don't believe the official narrative of he just wants to do a Star Wars film and then he's done. That, that that's that's baloney. There's there's no way that that's all that's happening here. There's something else going on, and I don't believe he wants to head Lucasfilm either, though, because again, it's a lateral move. Feige is one of those guys. He he's looking for he's looking to move up. Okay, and you know what? This is a prime time. To make those moves because Bob Iger's leaving soon, and I think that the that the chessboard is going to be that they're they're going to start moving people around when Iger leaves. I really do believe that, and I think this might be the power play um, with Feige and Horn. We will see though. But in terms of Star Wars, this could not be better news. This is incredible, absolutely incredible. Star Wars, look, Star Wars has taken some hits. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I love it. It's in my heart. But you can't deny reality, okay? It took a hit with Solo. Last Jedi was divisive, despite the fact that I love the, the hell out of that movie. Um, but it looks like Lucasfilm is really trying to, you know, 
right the ship and get in a good direction going forward. And so far with Mandalorian and what I've heard with Rise of Skywalker and this Kevin Feige thing, Kathleen Kennedy is doing it, man. She is doing it. She is really making moves. And uh, I think Lucasfilm has a bright future ahead of it. Now, also worth mentioning, in this article, they did talk about how Kevin Feige has an actor or actress um, in mind for his Star Wars movie. And he's already approached this person and talked to him about it. And a lot of people are speculating, who could it be? Who could it be? Who could it be? A lot of people think Brie Larson very possible um and you know um chris evans maybe you know captain america personally though if, if it was up to me which is not obviously but if it was up to me i would go tom holland i love tom holland this dude tom holland number one i like him as a guy like it just a, just as a person he's i find him hilarious he's, he's great I love the, the the job he did with Spider-Man. I think he he's really nailed it. I mean, he's really probably the best Spider-Man we've ever gotten. I would love to see him, you know, in a Star Wars movie. I, I think he would be so good as like a young Jedi or something along those lines. It would be so great. But we'll see, man. We will see. It looks like, you know, we have a lot going on here with Disney and Star Wars. Um, a lot of positive things happening. Anything happens in regards to this Kevin Feige thing, I will keep you guys updated for sure. But uh, what are your guys' thoughts on this? What do you think about Kevin Feige heading, you know, um, doing a, uh, a Star Wars movie? What do you think about my thoughts about him replacing Alan Horn? What do you think about my thoughts about Tom Holland joining the Star Wars universe? If not Tom Holland, who do you pick? Who do you want? You want Chris Evans? You want Brie Larson? Who do you want? Keanu Reeves? Keanu Reeves, by the way, not to get off on a tangent, but Keanu Reeves would be great too. Um, I know, and I know Kevin has been looking to get Keanu Reeves into the MCU. Maybe Keanu wants to do Star Wars, you know? So we'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as always, may the Force be with you.